Hello friends, welcome back to my channel again, Code With Me. In this session of Java programming language, we will be discussing about another interesting topic of Java that is method overriding flags. So, so I'm starting this method overriding before polymorphism. The reason here friends, in order to learn this method overriding, you need to have the knowledge of inheritance. For that reason, I'm starting this concept method overriding after the inheritance. So friends, now, now you guys have come across what are method, load, method overloading in my previous video. The method loading, method overloading, nothing but it's a process that a class inherit uh, methods of same name but different parameters. In the sense, in a class you will have multiple methods of same name but different parameters. That is called as method overloading. So what is this method overriding, friends? So friends, method overriding is nothing but when there are two, assume there are two class friends, one class inherit the properties of another class and override it. In the sense, friends, there are two class. Example, friends. Example, I'm writing down for clarity. Example, it's a create a class, class A and class B. So, friends, what I will do from class B, I will inherit using a keyword called such extends class A. What I will do, friends? I will inherit all the properties of class A to the class B where this keyword extends and I will override it. Override it in the friends, I can make changes to it. Method override is nothing but you inherit the properties and you make a slight changes to it. So it is method overriding friends. Okay, friends. Now if you want to so if you want to if you want to have the better clarity of what is method overriding, you will have a clear picture if I start to code. So I'll be uh, directly moving to the code after this. So if you want to note down the definition of what is method overriding, you guys should kindly please pause the video and note down all the definitions that are written here. So if I'm fast friends, I'm very sorry. You have to kindly pause the video and please note down the points. So friends, for time being, I'll be taking this thing and I'll be directly starting with the program. So for better understanding, I'll declare as method over writing the comment section it will not affect the main program so usually i'll start with the main program public class main sorry m should be capital main program okay friends and followed by the syntax of java public static void main followed by the string argument and this so this is the work okay. and in order to through the what is method overriding, if you want to explain the method overriding, I have to create another two classes. So I'll have a better picture clarity of what is this method overriding. Okay. What difference? I'll be creating the class. For instance, I'll be creating as class demo one. Okay. In this class, I'll create a method public void display. It's an example method I'll be displaying. Okay, friends. And after this, Print it. Print a statement for element clarity. Better in order to prove by output friends, I'll add a statement system dot out of print ln. Okay, friends. Hey, hello, Java. Okay, friends. So I successfully created a class name called demo one. Inside inside this demo one, I've have added a method called as display. Inside this way, I'll be displaying I love Java. Okay, friends. For time being, I'll be creating another class. Class, sorry, class demo reference. What I'll do, friends? I'll not do anything. I'll just inherit all the properties of demo one to the demo class. How should I do it, friends? It's usually as the inheriting properties extends demo one. Okay, friends. So now, by by declaring extends, friends, all the in properties that that demo one as yes, demo one include a successfully inherited to the demo two in the sense friends this public vault display successfully inherited in the demo two class so if you want me to prove that this method public void display successfully inherited demo two what i will do i'll create an object in the main class related to demo two friends. demo two starting with the object handler d2 for a new constructor and demo two parameter sectors Okay, friends. You can clearly see here. I have successfully created an object that belongs to the demo two class. 
what I will do and using object and LNG2, I'll try to access the display method. Okay, friends. So you can clearly see here that there is written nothing inside this demo2 class, but I'm trying to access the display method which is in, present inside demo2 class. As you can clearly see here that I have written nothing, it is completely blank. I try to execute the program, friends. Now you can clearly see here it's written as I love Java. Now see here, friends. Now I have, I have created I have created an object for demo2 class and I have executed the display display class of demo2, not demo1. The output which is obtained here is I love you, I love Java, is belongs to demo2 class, friends, not demo1. So, friends, if you want me to uh, say what is this method overriding, friends, what I will do. I will and anyhow I have successfully inherited this method public void display. What I will do, friends, now I will override this the same display method. How do I do, it, friends? Public void display. So, friends, you can clearly see here this method I created is found to be has to have the same name as that of demo one class public void DSP display public void display. These two methods have same name, but it is present inside the different class. Now what I'll do friends, I'll try to override it, override, 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 override it, sorry, override in the sense friends that will make changes to it. So what I'll do, I'll, I'll make a change, I love Java so much. So friends, what I have did, this public void display that successfully inherited from demo class, I have made changes to it. So I have completely changed the statement of the display method. If you want to put friends, when I execute the program, you can see here, it is showing as I love Java so much. It should display as I love Java, but I have inherited this public void display method inside this demo too, and I have exchanged it. I mean, I have made, I have overridden this display method. So friends, this is called as method overriding. In the sense friends, you will inherit the properties from one class and you'll make changes. Depends on you, is your wish. So friends, you inherit the properties in a sense, in a sense methods and will make changes to it. It is called as method overriding. And this is how you achieve method overriding by making use of extends keywords and by creating objects and displaying it. So friends, the session of this method overriding ends here. If you have any doubt regarding this method overriding, request you to pin down your doubts in the comment section. I'll definitely reply you back. So friends, if you like this video, request you to kindly like, share and subscribe. So friends, thank you very much. Have a nice day. Keep coding. Be happy.